Number 47, assuming ideal solution behavior. What is the osmotic pressure of an aqueous solution of 1.64 grams of CaNO3-2 in water at 25 degrees Celsius, and the volume of this solution is 275 milliliters? We need to outline the steps necessary to answer the question, and then we have to answer the question. Okay, so the first thing I see here that's jumping out at me is they want us to find the osmotic pressure. If they're asking for an osmotic pressure, there's only one formula that specifically has the word osmotic pressure in um, your, you know, you know, this unit. And the formula is this one. Pi, and this is a capital P, so it's like, a, you know, pi generally is lowercase. This one is the capital one. So we got pi equals mert, M-R-T. This is specifically used for osmotic pressure. That's how we know that we're going to be using this formula. And if you're using this formula, the osmotic pressure is going to be in ATM. M, capital M, is the molarity. So we're using molarity formulas. The R value is a constant number that you've probably seen throughout your chem class. It's the one that is used with pressure values, not the one that's used with joules. There's two R values depending on what units you're using. But since you're using pressures, the R value is 0.0821. Or if you want to be a little bit more specific, it's 8206. And the units here are ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. So that's why ATM goes with ATM. The last thing here is capital T is temperature. And just know that for temperature for this one, it's going to be in Kelvin because the constant value, the R value unit is in Kelvin. So there you go. So now let's see, we want to find out the osmotic pressure. Did they specifically tell us a molarity? Not that I see. So that's going to be step number one. So when we start outlining our steps, I'll say that we're first going to have to calculate the molarity. And maybe I'll work alongside this by starting to actually answer the question. So here's the molarity formula. And now let's just get rid of this. Molarity equals the moles of the solute divided by the liters of the solution. Now, in this case, we have a solute of 1.64 grams of the CaNO3-2. This is being placed in a aqueous material, so that means water. And they did say that the CaNO3-2 is in the water. Um, that would be your solvent, and then together... The CaNO3-2 and the water make up the solution. But the thing was, was that they gave us grams. So I need moles. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is 1.64 grams of the CaNO3-2. I just have to convert to moles of the CaNO3-2. Uh, How do we go from grams of one substance to moles of the same substance? Yeah, we just divide by the molar mass. I'll say mm. So periodic table's out. Let's find out what the molar mass is of CaNO3-2. I got one calcium, and calcium on my periodic table is 40.08. And we have two nitrogens, because remember, this two gets divvied up between the N and the O. So you got two nitrogens, um, so two times 14.01, and then you have six oxygens, and each oxygen weighs a split 16. So 40.08 plus two times 14.01 plus six times 16. I uh, love this calcy because I don't have to use any parentheses. And I think we're good. So I get a molar mass of 164.1, so I'm going to take my 1.64 and divide it by 164.1. Divide it by that number. 
and we get very, 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 very close to 0 0.001. But maybe I'll just extend it a little bit, 0 0.00999. Sure. So 0 0.00999 moles. Now, I need the liters of the solution. Well, they gave us that the volume of the solution was 275 mils. So, let's just quickly convert the 275 mils into liters. Milliliters to liters, that is... Dividing by a thousand, this is going all the way back to the beginning of your SI units. You could take your decimal, move it to the left three times as well. So this would be 0 0.275 liters. So now we have this number. And now let's solve for the molarity. Capital M equals um, 0 0.00999 divided by... 0.275. So I'm going to take that number, divide it by 0.275, and I get a molarity of 0 0.0363. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. <laughs> ah. You know, the more the more I start doing these videos, I mean, I don't know how many I'm in right now. A couple of thousand. I'm getting more comfortable with just talking in front of a screen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as you can tell, I, I do like to do accents. They might come out. Um, yeah, I'm just getting more comfortable with, you know, doing these videos and helping you guys out. So thank you. Thank you for letting me be more comfortable with myself. Thank you. Okay, back to chem? Sure. So we have the molarity. We have the R value. Now the next thing is to just get the, the temperature in Kelvin. They gave us 25 degrees Celsius. So step two is we're gonna convert the Celsius into the Kelvin. That one's pretty easy, right? 25 degrees Celsius, if we wanna go to Kelvin, all we have to do is just plus 273. More specifically, you could plus 273.15, and you'll get 298.15 Kelvin. So that was easy. The next step is literally just plug it in. Step three. Solve for osmotic pressure. So... Pi equals your molarity, 0 0.0363, times by the R value, that's the constant, 0 0.08206, times by the temp, maybe I'll just bring this down, 298.15, okay? So point, actually, no, I, I don't want to do that. I'll do this number just to get the most exact value times 0 0.08206 times 298.15. I'm just going to look back and see. Uh, looks good to me. Press enter. Nice. So we get a osmotic pressure because that's what we're solving for of 0 0.889. Looks like I guess we'll do three sig figs. So 0 0.889, and that's ATM. And that is the final answer. There's your osmotic pressure. Okay, so one more formula in the books. Just memorize it if your teacher or professor doesn't give it to you on your quiz or test. Uh, pretty easy to use, though. Just go step by step. Uh, thanks for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for being part of the community, for leaving kind comments in the comment section. You guys rock, and I'm just so happy that we can help you, my brother and I, uh, that we can help you with your chem classes, your math, your physics classes. Um, keep studying hard, all right? Always keep learning, and I'll talk to you in the next lesson. And check out the links in the description 
Uh, we have goodies for you guys down there. Uh, study guides is coming in the future. So you could share with your friends, your classmates. Uh, we really just want to help you out. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.